brothers and sisters, when Trayvon Martin's killer profiled, pursued, and shot him in the heart, we said that was bad. But what was worse was when our criminal justice system profiled Trayvon Benjamin Martin while he was laying on the ground dead in Sanford, Florida. And now we come to Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri, and they profile us all. Y'all saw the horrific images in Ferguson when they had guns on 13-year-old children. They had tear gas and rubber bullets being shot on grandmothers. And didn't they profile us all? Because the people who came out for the killer of an unarmed teenager laying dead on the ground, they called them supporters. And when all of you came out for the black teenager laying dead on the ground, they called us protesters. When the people came out for the police officer, they got police protection. When we came out for Michael Brown Jr., we got police enforcement. So brothers and sisters, as I stand for Tony Parks and all these great lawyers at the forefront of the National Bar Association, you know, they demonize our children. They profile Trayvon and they demonize Trayvon, 17 years old. And then Michael Brown, they profile, they demonize Michael Brown, 18 years old. And now, brothers and sisters, we come to Tamir Rice, 12 years old, Cleveland, Ohio. Are they going to try to demonize and profile this baby? It don't matter what they say about our children. Because we care for our children. We believe in our children. We love our children. And we're going to continue to stand up for our children. We're going to continue to speak up for our children. And if need be, we're going to be willing to die for our children. Because they are our children. And if nobody stand up for our children, we're going to stand up for our children. Here on the nation's capital, in every courtroom in America.